Okay, guys, so let's do this. Let's look up what's the definition of HTML, right? We're going to use Google. So basically, it means hypertext markup language. HTML is everywhere. Every single page that you see, anything that you see on the web is made with HTML. Right now, let's say an example, we search Star Wars, right? We go to StarWars.com. Basically, we come to this page. It's a beautiful page. I love Star Wars. Right? So if you're using Google Chrome, you can actually do this right now to see what's the HTML of this page. How is this page actually built? You can do that with any page. You just say right click and click on inspect. That's going to bring you this page, which is the console log. It's going to show you the developer's tools. It's going to show you sources, network, performance, memory, application, security, audits. All of this stuff you don't need to worry about for now. All you need to worry about is the elements. So what this is showing you is all the text that it takes to create this page so you have an html tag on the top here which is the very first tag that you use then you have a head where you keep certain information for the browser and basically the body tag in the body tag is where all the images all the text all the links everything that you see on the web page is located right on the body tag right now you're probably looking at this and you're saying, man, how am I going to remember all of this text? Like, you know, when I want to build a page, how can I actually remember all of this information? It looks kind of complicated when you look at it at first, right? And it's like, damn, what the hell is this thing? Well, basically there are 32 tags that you use on most occasions from whenever you're actually creating a website. You know, it could be a HTML email, it could be a web page, it could be anything. It could be even a video game, right? So all you have to worry about is 32 tags. And I know it seems like a lot, but everything will make sense as we go. But I want to show you guys actually the 32 tags that you're most likely going to use at all times. Of course, you don't have to remember this. This is not something that you're going to say, hey, I got to remember all 32 tags in one shot. Trust me, guys, you don't need it. Basically, you got the HTML tag, the head tag, the title, body, H1 to H6. So basically H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, which are all headings, right? So as you can see here, the P tags is a paragraph, div is a container, span is a container m basically gives you you know text emphasis strong which is just makes your text bold the a tag which is the anchor link basically that's when you click on a link that's the a tag ol which is order list ul which is unordered list li which is the list items right it could be a list item or it could be an unordered list item so basically that's it and then from there you got the html5 semantic tags which are the header nav main aside footer then you have the empty tags which are breaks images and then you have tables see this right here that what we're looking at is actually a table so you have tables you know table row table headers and you know table data cell so each one of these is actually a, a table data cell, right? And then the whole thing is actually a row. Okay, so I know it seems complicated, but trust me, as we go, this is something that the only way that you're going to understand is by actually building things and actually building websites. So that's where we're going next. All right, kids, I'll see you later.